Spinal cord stimulation is kind of the big daddy in the pain world today. The spinal cord stimulator consists of a simple wire that's placed in the epidural space of the spine, which stimulates the nerves to think that they're not experiencing any pain. Instead, the patient feels only a mild vibration sense. So essentially what the stimulator is doing is blocking or jamming the pain signals. Once we determine that a patient is a candidate for the spinal cord stimulator, we bring them to our surgery center, make sure they're comfortable, give them some light sedation. Through a skinny needle, we place a small wire into the back, then remove the needle and place a bandage over the skin. The patient then goes home for a five-day trial with this wire in place. The wire is connected to an external stimulator or what we call a pulse generator. This generator creates the signals that jam pain signals in the body. The patient will go home with an external remote control where he can turn it on, off, or up or down. After five days, the patient comes back. We remove the wire and talk about how much pain relief the patient got. If, if the relief is greater than 50 or 60%, then we consider it a success and we proceed to implantation. The implantation is a simple outpatient procedure. We'll bring the patient in again, place in a new wire, and this time we implant the pulse generator, which is about the size of two silver dollars stacked together. This is buried under the skin in a very simple procedure that takes about 30 minutes. Once the stimulator is embedded, the patient has a remote control what he carries in his or her, her pocket. The stimulator is adjustable in intensity, it can be turned off, up or down. Some patients like uh, to turn it off when they go to bed at night, but some patients leave it on at a low level during sleep. The spinal cord stimulator has a battery life of around six years. Uh, if the patient still needs a stimulator after six years, we bring them back in, replace the battery in a simple outpatient procedure. The spinal cord stimulator is a very strong and viable alternative to back surgery for chronic nerve damage or pinched nerves, especially good in failed back syndrome or for repeat back surgery where the chances of relieving the pain are not good.